Don't stop now. Mastering the negative forms of can. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on Intermediate English Grammar. Today, we're going to focus on a very important aspect of the English language. The negative forms of can, cannot, and can't. This will help you express inability, prohibition, or lack of permission in a more accurate and native way. Let's get started. Before we dive into the negatives, let's quickly recap what the modal verb can represents. Can is used to express ability, permission, or possibility. For example, I can swim very well. Ability, you can leave early today. Permission, we can go to the beach this weekend if the weather is good. Possibility. Now, let's focus on our main topic. The negative form of can has two variations, cannot and can't. Cannot is a bit more formal, while can't is used in everyday, informal conversations. Both carry the same meaning. For example, I cannot play the piano. Formal, I can't play the piano. Informal, both sentences mean that the speaker lacks the ability to play the piano. Cannot and can't are not just about inability. They are also used to express prohibition or lack of permission. For example, you cannot park your car here. Prohibition. I can't go to the party tonight. I have to study. Lack of permission. Self-imposed. Finally, when we want to ask about ability, permission, or possibility, we use kin at the beginning of the sentence. When turning these questions negative, can't or cannot follows the subject. For example, can you swim? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can't you swim? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Remember, negative questions often suggest that the speaker thinks the answer will be yes. There you have it, folks. We've now explored the negative forms of can, cannot, and can't. Remember, practice is key when it comes to mastering English modal verbs. So keep practicing these in different contexts and soon, you'll find yourself using them effortlessly. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you in our next lesson. Keep learning and happy studying.